we made this map, right? Now, let me add the topic. Sampling distribution of the sample mean. x ball. Just a second. x ball. Who is the sampling distribution for x ball? The sample mean? He said the normal distribution again. Okay, now, what do you expect? Take the treasure. By the map. What will be the treasure? You will be asked to find a probability. In the middle, what do you need? We are going to take the Z. Again. Again and again, right? We understood this topic, right? But today, we just add the new one. But it will be normal distribution again. We are going to take the Z, we are going to take the probability from the Z table. Did you keep the Z table after exam? Please, we are going to use them again, right? Okay, let me ask you. In chapter eight, in chapter eight, absolutely, we are going to add a new topic. I don't know what will be, chapter eight. A new topic. What do you expect? What we are going to do? Poisson. Oh no, come on. Please don't go back. It's not Poisson. We are going to take the normal distribution again. Can you remember one day I told you it's getting be easier and easier and easier? Absolutely, we are going to add more topic. Whoever, it will be go to the normal distribution. In chapter 9, chapter 8, then what? Take the Z. Who will be the destination to get the probability? Okay, yeah. So, um, that was the reason, that was the reason why um, I took the exam. I took the exam is based on this one because we have to use we have to use the um, the topic the map, right? It's again and again and again. It's good, okay? So look at this picture. In this course, we have only one theorem. It is a course of the step one. We have only one theorem, named the central limit theorem. It is the most, the most important theorem in statistics. By the central limit theorem, look at this. You know, the population had the normal distribution. It's absolutely. It does not depend on the sample size. It's always the bell shape. I mean, I mean, from here, based on the sample size, they are the sampling distribution of the sample mean, right? And, and the first one, that is the distribution of the population. For example, the population is not bell shaped, it's not symmetrical, absolutely. When we have a small sample size, it is not symmetrical. It's skewed. But it looks bell shaped. When? More sample size. The very beginning is a flat. When n equal to 
The sampling distribution of the sample mean will be triangle when n equal to 2. But it looks like the bell shape again. When we have more sample size. So the central limit theorem said the approximation is becomes better when we have a bigger sample size. So that is another reason why we need a more sample size in statistics. It's more is better. Always, always more is better. Remember, by the central limit theorem. So here's an example. We had, we have a normal distribution with the mean and the standard deviation. That's good, right? And here is the question. Take the probability. How many sample size? Nine. Take and finish between 50 and 65 minutes. Um, the mean finishing time, the mean, it is the key. It is the key we need the sampling distribution of the sample mean. And the sample size, 9. That is another key to use the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Okay? So now I can say um, 61, it is the mu. Who was the mu? Population mean. Nine is just a sigma. Who was a sigma? Population standard deviation. Here's a nine again. Who is this? N, which is the sample size. And now, what do we need? Mean of the sample mean. We need the mean of the sample mean. How much do you expect the mean of the sample mean? It will be same as the population mean, 61. Always, never ever change. Also, we need the standard deviation of the sample mean. How? Sigma over square root of n. Then it will be 9 over square root of 9. 9 and 9, the same values, but they are totally different. The upper 9 is the population standard deviation, and the lower 9 is the sample size. How many square root of 9? Three. 3, thank you. And how much will be 9 over 3? Three? 3. 3, yeah. Funny, but be careful. Yeah. So now, okay, now, now, now we can make the normal distribution. Now we can make the normal distribution, very shaped. Let me say, by the central limit theorem, CLT, by the central limit theorem, how much was the mean? 61. And how much was the standard deviation? The 3. Just a second. For whom? 
for the sample mean. So let me make the note here. It is the normal distribution. It is the sampling distribution for x bar, sample mean. How much was the mean of the sample mean? 61, which was the same as the population mean. How much was the standard deviation of the sample mean, which was the 3? It was 9 over square root of the sample size 9. It was a 3. Okay, let me go back to the question. What was the question then? How much will be the chance? How much will be the probability? The mean finish time will be between 50 and 65. 50 and 65. Now we have a normal distribution. And we need the probability. What do we need in the middle? Take the z-score. Yes, do again. Okay, so take the z-score. At 50, how? 50 minus the mean, 61, divided by standard deviation of the sample mean, right? So we just focus on the sample mean. So we have to divide by 3. How much will be the z-score? Negative 3.66666. Always we needed the two decimal places for the z-score. So it will be negative 3.67. Can you take the, the other one at 65? Same idea. At 65. How? 65 minus the mean 61 divided by 3. Anybody who take the z-score at 65? I expect a positive. What? One point three three three. One point three three. Then what? Take the two probability. Do you remember that? What we did before, chapter six? Take the two probabilities here and there at the two z scores, negative 3.67 and positive 1.33. Just a second. Negative. 3.6 what? Seven. Seven. There is a probability, 0 0.0001. Where? To the left. Let me copy. Point zero 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 one. The other one at positive 1.33. Okay, good. So here. One point three and three. Point ninety eighty two. Point 90.82 to the left where do we need the probability? between in the middle then what can I do? what? subtract, thank you the bigger one minus the smaller one In the middle, there is a probability, 0 0.9081. Do you have an idea? Please look at this map again.
At the beginning now, we had a sample mean. But we had no more distribution again. Then what? We need a probability. Absolutely. We need a z-score. You know, in the normal approximation to the binomial, we started from the binomial distribution here and go this way. But now from here and go to the same way, right? Yeah, so please remember and please understand it's almost the same idea. What you have to be careful. In this case, who was the mean? N times P. Who was the standard deviation? Square root of N times P times 1 minus P. Now, who is the mean of the sample mean? The new one, same as the population mean. Who is the new standard deviation of the sample mean? Sigma over square root of n. So case by case, this one, this case, this case, or even the next new case, we are going to have a new mean, new standard deviation. For whom? Always for the normal distribution. Exactly same way, we are going to take the z-score. Exactly same way, we are going to take the probability from the z table. 